Okay, y'all. So today, I'm going to try to put this here sink in my kitchen. I've been planning on doing this a long time. It's raining. So uh, it's a good time to be stuck inside, I guess. And look, I'm, I'm hobbling around a little bit. So that's kind of neat that I'm, I'm walking again. This should be, this should be interesting. So I'm gonna put a link to this little tiny sink. Look at, look at how awesome that little sink is. Um, I'm gonna put a link in there. I just love this little sink. I think it's gonna look good. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I don't have any, I don't even consider this plumbing really, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about plumbing. So I got my sink my faucet from Amazon and I had this this uh, what does it say oh half inch half inch tubing that's going to take the water in and then take it back out of the drain and then outside I have this big jug yeah big jug um, just for right now to uh, to bring the water in But what I didn't know how to do, see all this stuff right here? I just had this. I didn't know the guts in the middle part of the solution for how it would work. So, I just went to Home Depot and I found this, this, this big guy named Slick. And Slick is just awesome. He just took the time, he sat and figured it out. Um, we talked through it together. So if y'all see, if y'all see Slick, he's in East Tennessee Home Depot. You tell him Carrie said hey, and uh, he'll hook you up. He's he was awesome. So you know, cause we we need a lot of help when we we don't know what we're doing. When things for this setup here, it was really important not to get an overflow hole. I don't know nothing about no overflow holes, but what what Slick said is what I'm gonna do. So I have that. I have an adapter. So at the bottom, the tubing can come, come out and there's going to be a little hole in the wall there where it dumps out into the water catchment system. So I've got my drain. These two pieces, I don't even know what these two pieces, I don't know what they are. He just, he just had them. And uh, so I just trusted that he, you know, he know what he's doing. So the only, the only problem I think I'm gonna have is that's really long and there's not a lot of space over here. I wish it were plastic because I'm, I'm just not real confident about cutting metal. And this, is pretty, this isn't stuff you can cut with a tin snip like this. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. Flanges, so that's, that's something I'm a little worried about. So to get this to fit and stay because, you know, this is what I had before. We're going to use these little flanges to, to get it set. And then this, I don't know what this was. Um, he said I didn't need it, but I have no idea what it is. All right, so this is the fun. This is the fun for today. Y'all, look, look outside. Look at that. If you are trapped inside trying to figure out how to put a sink in a little tiny kitchen, this right here is the view you want. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to place it because I've got this awkward uh, piece of wood here in the middle. I well, hope I didn't need that. Come here, flange. Make yourself useful. All right, so hopefully I can miss this piece here and then the hole for this is here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Because what happens is I have a little part with all these complicated things and I take it apart and I can't remember how to put it together again. So I've learned to take a picture of stuff like this. You know what, I'll set them out in layers. That was on the bottom. Oh, there's my plumber's putty. Mm. Okay, this is the part I don't want to get wrong because once I start drilling, drilling holes on this here countertop, if I mess this up, I'm going to be really upset because there's been a lot of effort putting these, I mean, oh, there's been a lot of effort putting that on. 
So, let's see what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna find a pencil. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find a pencil. And none of these are gonna be sharp. Yep, not one of these is gonna have. This is how this goes. Uh, oh, here's one. There's a pencil doing in here. Okay. So the foot pump, which I don't have. I don't have the foot pump. Don't have the foot pump. All right, let me pick something that might represent the foot pump. Okay, I'm thinking about, it's probably a little bit narrower than that. I'll probably hide it a little bit behind the, let's see, is that gonna work? I don't wanna have to open that every time I use it. I really wish I had that foot pump to show you. This would, this would all make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? So, Lord have mercy. This, this plastic tubing, one's gonna come in and one's gonna go out. So wherever the foot pump is, the tubing's attached. So if I have it here, out here a little bit, I, I can't do that because all the tubing will show. So I'll have to, I'm gonna have to put it, I'm gonna have to put it in here. Oh, I just thought of another problem. Oh. There's a table, I, ha I haven't got this set up yet, but there's a table it's not down there. That's going to flip up here. So I don't want to have to flip that up every time I use this. Shoot. I may not be able to do that table. Daggummit. So the table, you know what? Okay. Let's pretend that's a table. The table can't go past the bed thing here, so at most, so the table, oh lord, I didn't even think about that. That's a tall ass, that's a tall ass table, I may have, this table thing ain't gonna work out. Shoot. Okay, so I think it's going to be the middle, the middle piece I'm going to have to slide. I got to think about this, because how I set this up, every single time I use this thing, I'm going to have to do something. So let me think about this. All right, I'm coming in the garden, my hands are dirty. I'm walking in. I want to use the sink. Does it matter? Which will be easier. Or be easier to stand. Okay, so the foot pump will bring the water up. So the only the only pipe that needs to the pipe for the drain needs to slope. I need to make sure I'm thinking about the slope because it's going to go out here. So I need enough space to drill a hole here, here, and then gravity will take it over there. So that'll come down. So really, the foot pump would probably be better over here, to be honest. All right, so I think I hit the time lapse button by mistake. What I'm trying to do here is, is fit on the faucet. It had a very narrow length of threading on it. So it looks like I'm trying to cut that flange and squeeze every little millimeter of <laughs> thread I could get um, to put that bottom yeah, to put that bottom nut on. All right, well, I, I spent the last 30 minutes trying to get the hole cleared out enough for the propane and the water tubing. You know, I might want to think about whether, I guess that's safe. I'll, I'll check into that. Um, but some of the cladding from the outside of the house like this was blocking it and uh, you can't take one piece of that stuff apart because it's all interconnected together so okay so i went ahead and drilled the next the hole for the for the middle it took a long time 
Please fit. Please fit. Please. Fit. Oh. It fits. Okay. All right. Oh, I can't put Plutter's Plummy in it now. Daggum it. I know I had some. <gasps> oh, MG. Did I say OMG? That's. Mm. Look, there's my foot pump. Okay. Okay. Now, where's the plumber's putty? This is going to go in here. So, what's the safe bet? That gives me a lot of wiggle room. Okay, you can kind of see the glow from the outside light, and there's a little bit of, um, where's it at? Dirty water trapped right there. So let's see if we pull it out and connect it to the outside gutter, if we can see that water come out. Okay, now y'all, don't judge this because this is this will get improved, right? Okay, where's that water at? Oh, there it is. There's just a dip right here, so it made it all the way to here. Let's see if I push this down. Yep, there it goes. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This been this has been beautiful to sit there and make this while well, having that to look at and listen to. That's just been awesome. And one more thing, when I, when I first made this plan and decided the layout where I wanted everything to face, I knew that putting the, the, the real door back out there where you had to go up steps was gonna be probably not as easy if I had just put the door here, right? And you could just walk straight in. But I always knew that I wanted the kitchen to have a certain view. So I wanted to be here and the morning sun comes up here, as well as there's a little farmer. I don't know if you can see it now, but there's a little garden over there. And he comes up with this old vintage blue tractor and little donkeys are walking around. So it's just kind of neat. And I always wanted to have that view in the kitchen. So now that, gosh, it's, I can't believe it's actually, I actually have that kitchen that I had in my head. That's, that's crazy. This whole thing's been crazy, y'all. So if anybody's on the fence about whether or not you could, you can do something like this, I mean, come on. Like I had no experience, I'm in my 50s. It wasn't pretty. It's not been pretty a lot, but, but it's pretty now, look at that. Look at that. Y'all don't be afraid to start something if you, if you got a big idea, because you can get there. Look at that view. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs>